Our scripture today is in the book of Hebrews and deals with temptation also. And it talks about Jesus. For he himself was tempted in that which he has suffered. He is able to come to the aid of those who are tempted. What's it say? Because Jesus Christ was tempted. He knows what it's like to be tempted. Food for thought. Many Christians get the false idea that when you get saved, you won't be susceptible to temptation any longer. Wow. If you've been a Christian any length of time at all, you know it's probably going to get stronger, temptation is. But for some reason, we have this idea, and we're sold on this idea, and we let the false teachers sell us on the idea that when we accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, we're not going to be tempted. Well, i got news for you. You will be tempted. Being saved does not make you immune to temptation. In fact, just the opposite is true. Let me give you a reminder. Being tempted is not a sin. Jesus Christ himself was tempted. Falling into sin is temptation. And if you go back and look at yesterday's, God always gives you a way out if you look for it. But I want you to know something. Your Lord and Savior knows what it's like to be tempted. Because right after he was baptized and just before his public ministry started, he went to the desert to be tempted. He knows what it's like. Turn to him and tell him and share with him when you're tempted. God has to make your way of escape for you. This plan, his plan is to not remove all temptation from you or to give you immunity, but to give you victory. You're tempted because God wants you to have a victory. We must also look for and then take advantage of that escape. Feel like you're being tempted? Look for the escape. Look for the way out. There's always a way out. You just have to be willing to look for it. You know, temptation's a funny thing. You have to be willing to take it. Sort of like I shared an illustration here a while back in one of our sermons about a man who was extremely overweight and his downfall was donuts. So he went on a diet. A couple days into his diet, he got to craving donuts from his favorite donut place. So he made a deal with himself. He says, if I drive by the donut shop and there's a space, I'll pull in. But if there's not, I won't. He had to drive around the donut place three times to find an open space. Look, there's a way out. Don't fall into temptation. God's willing and God's able to help you out. Have a great day.